Welcome back to Art by Jish. Uh, today's video will be sponsored by Pujo Resin. Uh, this is an overseas company who is expanding their market into the United States out of Arizona. I was contacted by a representative who said they wanted to send me some resin and uh, have me try it out in return for a video. It seemed like a great deal to me. Who doesn't love free resin? So let's go ahead and get started here. Today's project is going to be this little elephant tray. You can use this for a little jewelry tray. You can use it as an incense holder. Um, it works great for either. And we'll be making this using this metallic pink deep rose color by Small Meanings and a little bit of red watercolor ink by the Dollar Rowley Company. So our first step is to mix up the resin. Uh, Pujo made that easy with a one-to-one -one mixture, meaning you put in equal amounts of part A and B. Make sure you pour your resin in slowly that will keep your bubble making to a minimum in your project. As you know, we don't want any bubbles. Another useful tip for helping to eliminate bubbles is to stir your resin slowly. Um, as you can see here, I sped up the video for time purposes, um, for length of the video. Uh, but make sure you stir your resin slowly and you will get far less bubbles in it. And as always, make sure you're scraping the sides and the bottom really well so you don't add end up with any unmixed resin at the end of your project. And now for the fun part. When you're adding your colors, make sure you always do just a little bit at a time. You can always add more color. You can't take it away once you put it in there. For this project, I knew I wanted the resin to be completely opaque, no light to pass all the way through it. So I went ahead and put in two scoops right off the bat because I knew it wasn't going to be too dark. Um, and I also knew I was going to put some red ink in here with it as well. Not a whole lot to say here. Just make sure you mix your colors in completely and you'll be fine. I'm pretty happy with the colors so far, but I think I wanted a little bit darker than that, so I went ahead and went to add a little bit more alcohol ink in there. And then I just did that. That was way more ink than I wanted to put in there, but it's gonna be red now. I gotta say I'm super happy with the color that we got here. So, uh, we're on to the next step. Let's get ready to pour this into the mold. Now this is a mold I made myself and because this elephant is poured upside down and his head is bigger than his neck, it has to be a split mold. So I go ahead and apply some rubber bands now to keep the mold, all the, the cracks on the side closed. This is one of my most favorite parts of the video to watch over again as I'm editing, so I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy this. It's pretty satisfying. Later. I'm really happy with how this came out and there's not one single air bubble in it. So as you can see, this project came out absolutely amazing. I love this red color and the resin, it was awesome. What can I say? Um, I was kind of skeptical about it because I do, you know, I do have a preferred brand before I was sent this. But as I was mixing this, I noticed there's very few bubbles. It's advertised it's crystal clear as I was mixing it it was crystal clear obviously until I put the red in there so overall I'd have to say it's pretty great resin I'm definitely excited to try the rest of these and um, I'm gonna try a few other projects I'm gonna pour an ocean uh, painting over a turtle board I cut with part and I'm also going to do another small coaster tray with the same resin to test it out a little farther so keep an eye out for those videos so in conclusion I gotta say, Pujo, thank you so much for sending me this resin. Um, it's a great opportunity. 
hopefully we can do a lot more business together in the future. Thank you so much and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video.